Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to use FaceTime over 3G, which is something that Apple left out of the FaceTime feature that they included in the iPhone 4 when the iPhone 4 actually was released, and many people wanted it as well as myself. It would make the iPhone 4 a much more usable device, a much better device, much more full-featured device if you could use FaceTime to video chat with anyone with a camera, such as computers, other mobile devices, and the like. And in this video, I'm going to be teaching you how you can actually use it over 3G to chat with people you want. And the way this is going to work is you're going to use an app called Fring, which will be down there in the description. It's free in the App Store. And the app really is like an all-in-one instant messenger. You can use AIM, Skype, Fring itself, and all the mobile uh, instant messaging services that you can think of. And you can video chat with anyone who also has that service on another mobile device with a camera or a computer. Um, as you can see in this video that I filmed earlier, this is the app Fring. And in the video, I actually open it up and show you how you can video chat with someone and what it would look like. Essentially what you do is you go to your buddy list, click one of your buddies, I picked the test call, and you click the little video icon. And once you click the video icon, it, it actually calls them over FaceTime using the front-facing camera. And you can actually see yourself in the upper right. I was on my iPod Touch, so I point to it. I tap on it with my thumb. But you can actually, you will actually be able to see yourself there. And the test call, where the test call box person is in the video chat, you will see your friend. And essentially, that's how it works, guys. You just video call someone. Um and you can actually use FaceTime over 3G. Now there are some downsides to this guys. Again, because you are over 3G, this also works over Wi-Fi, but because you are on 3G using the app, it may be slightly laggy as it is just slower than Wi-Fi, so be on the lookout for that. FaceTime is definitely faster over Wi-Fi than over 3G. And secondly, um, we don't know what this is going to do with two at and bandwidth, so they may just automatically disable the feature hopefully they don't but it's out right now so go ahead and check out the link to the app in the description and another downside is also this will use a lot of data so if you are on a limited data plan be on the lookout as you may spend a lot of money and not even realize it until you get your bill as this will eat up data very fast so only use over 3g if you have unlimited data and or you are willing to use the um, or you are willing to use the data plan that you have to use up your minutes on that. And finally, another downside to this is you can only use the front-facing video camera. You cannot use the back-facing video camera in the app Fring. On FaceTime, you can switch between the two cameras and kind of flip them, but in Fring, you can only use the front-facing one. So unfortunately, that's a downside. But overall, this is a really cool app, guys. That's how you use FaceTime over 3G. Hopefully, this enjoy Hopefully, you enjoyed this video. If it helped you out in any way, please subscribe by clicking the little box above. I greatly appreciate it. And please rate thumbs up. You guys help me out so much, and you're the best. I love you guys. Thanks for watching my videos again. Please follow me on Twitter, which is in the description, and visit my blog as well down there. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.